Thank you for downloading this in-ear entertainment podcast. You're listening to Supermarket Matters. A New Year's special. Old Lang Syne. I must say, head office was more generous this year than I expected. We didn't even get any champagne. All they forked out for were these paper cups. Well, yeah, like I said, more generous than expected. Anyway, enjoy some wine on me. Uh, I bought that wine. And not from the grab and go, I note. No, because I wanted something drinkable for tonight. Whoosh! Welcome to the New Year's party. You patched the doors into the staff room. Whoosh! I deserve some fun too. Right. Um, everyone, this is my date, Tina. Hi. Date? You bought a date? But she doesn't work here. Mrs Hayward doesn't, really. Mm, But I am your best customer. Yeah, but... Well... I could have bought a date. No, you couldn't, Pete. Whoosh! I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. What the hell? Mm, Never mind. Everyone, this is Brian. Brian, everyone. Hello. You bought a date, too. What about the petrol pump attendant you were seeing? Gay. Really? Well... I found him attending another guy's petrol pump. So, yeah, I'm going with gay. Whoosh! Four hours to midnight. Oh, they're going to be doing that all night, aren't they? Whoosh! You bet your sweet ass. Brilliant. Whoosh! Two hours to midnight. Kill me. Pardon? Uh, I said fill me. Wait, no, I didn't. That's much worse. So, Brian, what do you do? Uh, I'm a drummer uh, in a band. How nice. What's your band called? Have I heard of them? Death Leprosy Ergonomic Batcher Grandfather Clock. Hmm, no. No, I'm not sure. I can't say it rings a bell. Simon, I'm bored. I want to go. That's Simon, the sheep saviour. <laughs> Great, thanks. Look, there was this incident that... Oh, never mind. It's this on my nan's house, and you don't know. This might pick up, potentially. Oh, I'll go get you another drink, then we can go to my nan's. OK, sheep saviour. <laughs> oh, excellent. I'll be right back. Well then, Tina... Please don't talk to her, Pete. Right do. Simon! Join me in a spot of... I don't know what this is. Jules brought it with her, but it's all that's left. It's... it's green. And I'm alright, thanks. Miss Hayward, how many have you had? Of this stuff? Four. And two glasses of wine... What, three brandies and one shot of tequila with that nice Brian fellow. I'm going to be one of his band's groupies. OK. Maybe you should... I'm fine. I don't need you telling me. Telling me. Oh, I'm sorry, Simon. I didn't mean to snap at you. I just... It's my first Christmas and New Year without... Without... Ooh, are those cheap alternative grab-and-go cheese balls? Uh, I I think so, yeah. (laughs) Good. Right. I'll leave you to it. And, of course, grab-and-go only use the finest quality cup moulds to make these... Pete, what did I say? Right, yeah. Sorry. I'll just, uh... I'll go talk to Jules. What? No! I thought you were getting me a drink. So did I. But it turns out Miss Hayward's a wino. And I think Pete's had a few too. Come on, I've got another idea. How about... Whoosh! There's a fire at the grab-and-go. Run for your meaningless little lives. Whoosh! I'm afraid I can't do that, Jules. You're no fun. Jules, I was wondering... Go away, Pete. right so. Jules, fancy raiding the stock room for some more booze? 
You mean stealing? I don't know if I quite put it that way. I mean, we're pretty overstocked for Christmas. I'm sure wastage could be... Shut up. I'm in. We're not going to bring it back up here, are we? This is the worst party I've ever been to. And I think your bosses might notice us suddenly turning up with armfuls of vodka. There's always my nans. I'm not going to your nans. We can go back to mine. Anywhere's better than this. Whoosh! Take me with you. Uh, how? Whoosh! Oh, right. We are taking Brian, though. He's really pretty. I'll go save him from Pete and Linda. Now, you're not going to mention this to anyone, right? Whoosh! The crow flies east at midnight. What does that mean? I'm hoping it's a yes. That was quick. Easy when you know how. What did you do? Ask them who was kissing who at midnight. I'll tell you now, I'm not kissing Mrs Haywood. Well, you can't kiss me. Why not? So, that's the plan. Tina and I will go get the alcohol. You two keep watch. No. What? No. That's not a plan. That's you getting off with each other on the onions. You'll never come back. I know what you're up to. What? You really think that's going to happen, Simon? On the onions? Of, of course not. I wouldn't... I mean, I'm a gentleman. And I, and I prefer shallots. I'm not getting off with you anyway. Ever. You're just too... You know. I don't know, no. I've got some ideas. Happy New Year, Simon. Well, what if Jules and I go get the booze? Yes, let's do that plan. <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? Really, Jules, you're asking me? But, 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 with my pretty. <laughs> oh, fine. Simon and I will get the booze. You two keep watch. It's over here, isn't it? When was the last time you were out here? Alcohol hasn't been kept down there for months. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't worked here in months. Which way then, backroom girl? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Yes, I do. Of course I do. It's this way. I miss Clue. It's just most New Year's I end up kissing my own hand at midnight. And one year in a horrific case of mistaken identity... Barry Evans from the Lower Six. Peter, really? I'm a married woman. Yes, we've been having some problems, but that doesn't mean that I can go around canoodling with Barry Evans. Um... I knew you were gay. I'm not gay. It would explain some things. Whoosh! You are the only member of staff who's never brought back a member of the opposite sex for some after-hours fun time in the store. Oh, the things I've seen. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. I love women and they love after-hours fun time. Whoosh! Um, I've said too much. I'm sure we've been down this road before. These sausages look really familiar. How big is this place, anyway? Don't you tidy it every day? It's not like I'm thorough. Besides, Bobby does most of the cleaning. Who's Bobby? Bobby. Works Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Ginger hair. Glasses. Weird little mole thing right in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> what? Other people work here? Besides you, Clue, and Pete and Linda? Mm, yeah. It's a big shop. Huh. Who would have thought? I miss Clue. How long have they been in there? About uh, half an hour now. So, drumming. You know... My nephew Johnny is gay. I could introduce you! I'm not gay! I'm sure your nephew's a lovely young man, Miss Hayward, but that's just not the team I play for. Whoosh! In fairness, I had you down as gay since the day I opened. You should have placed a bet in the sweepstake then. Whoosh! No one ever includes me in the sweepstake. Sweep sweepstake? There was a sweepstake? The which member of staff would come out first sweepstake? I set it up. You were odds-on favourite, Peter. In fact, we had to close it because nobody would vote for anyone else. I don't believe this! This is ridiculous! How can we be lost? Could be worse. We could still be at the party. I'm stuck here with you. There's a very attractive man outside this room who I could be ravaging right now. Don't give me could be worse, Simon. Right, yes. I didn't have anything better to do with my night either. This here... Us being lost in a stock room? Very much my idea of fun. I knew this party was a bad idea. I shouldn't have even agreed to do Christmas temping here. How could this be a worse New Year's? 
I can't see. You know, that's your fault, right? Yeah, sorry. What was, what was that? You hugging me? Um, I, I would appear to be, yes. Get off. D- don't tell me you didn't hear that. You are kidding me. I- is this place haunted? You mean you don't know? N- know what? About the ghosts. G- 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 ghosts? This place is built on the site of an old orphanage. Terrible things happen there. Children were tormented by a wicked matron who would beat them if they were disobedient. They say she killed a little girl before local villagers burned the orphanage to the ground, killing her. Both the girl and the matron are supposed to haunt the area. Really? No, you moron. There's no ghost here. It's built in a car park. Now let's... Let's quickly find a way out of here as quickly as possible. Ouch. You wouldn't happen to have a torch on you, would you? (sighs) Whoosh! Hey! I think I've had too much WD-40. I just think it would be better if you were honest with yourself. No one here will judge you. I'm telling you, Miss Hayward, I'm straight. You need to stop living a lie. I can't be easy for you. Oh, leave him alone, Miss Hayward. But no one's ever seen him kiss a woman. All the evidence points to one conlouche. Conclouche. Con, con, con. Fact. Mr Bradshaw is gay. Look, I don't think... Never kissed a woman. Really. That's what it takes. Fine. Come here, Miss Hayward. Oh my! Whoosh! I wish I could unsee this. You and I both. Oh. Uh, right. Let's let's let, let, let's never speak about it again. For everyone's sake. Whoosh! Oh, I'm telling Jules all about it. Next time we get a chance for a gossip. Don't you... Wait. Jules? Where is Jules? And Simon? Whoosh! Uh, The crow flies east at midnight. What? Whoosh! Um... Okay. I think my eyes are finally starting to adjust. Ow. Or not. Just feel your way along the shelves. What's so hard about that? Don't the grab-and-go guidelines say we're not supposed to handle the stock? When did you turn into Pete Bradshaw, Jr.? I'm hardly... Ah! Ah! What the hell was that? What was what? You just... stroked me. I what now? Well, someone just brushed my thigh and it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me either. Who was it then? The ghost. I I think it might have been. No, it wasn't a ghost. There is no ghost. It was you being a pervert and these shelves are unstable, clearly, and... Uh, What? Something just tapped me on the shoulder. Don't fuck with me here, Simon. I'm starting to feel really on edge. I'm serious. No fucking at all. Something tapped my shoulder. I don't like this. What's that? Oh my god. Something's got me. That's me. I'm terrified. So you're hugging me? I'm aware of the hypocrisy of my actions. Wait, can can you see that light? Oh, God. It's coming this way. I don't want to be killed by a ghost. It's getting closer. It's here. Ah! What on earth are you two doing? Miss Jones! Jones! Yes, of course. It's... Well, why are you hugging me? Get off! Sorry, we are... I thought you were a ghost. Or an axe murderer. We saw the torch, and with everything else that's been going on, we... Ah, Mr Bradshaw must have found the trip switch. Excellent. Now let's... Let's what? Miss Jones? M- mice. There are... Mice. Everywhere. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there are. Ah, oh, they must have been what was knocking things over and jumping on us and stuff. We could get shut down for this. You almost sound hopeful. (laughs) Almost? (laughs) Whoosh! Tickles! An evacuation, Pete. Really? 
In the middle of a code fluffy squeaky, of course. Whoosh! Ah! My knees! No, but really, someone make sure they're, they're, they're out of the wiring before they chew through something important. What? A code fluffy squeaky. I... I ran out of colours. Wait, where's Brian? Oh, we had to throw your dates out of the store. We found them in the grocery section. Going at it like you wouldn't believe. Right on the onions. Your date stole my date! Ah, good riddance. She's a bitch anyway. Yeah, but... but... but mine... mine was pretty. I'd better lock the doors. Whoosh! Don't you dare shut those tiny little buggers in here with me! I'm warning you! This is a really fun party! I'll call the exterminator in the morning. I have to pay bloody premium rates, I suppose. Whoosh! Put that key in me and I swear you'll regret it. I So much of a party. Is it midnight yet? In a few seconds. Good, because I want to kiss someone else. Else? <laughs> Funny. Drunk lady talk. Ignore her. There we go. Ah, anyone want to sing Old Lang Syne? Nah, thought not. Happy New Year, everyone. Is that it? Can I go home now? Yes, fine, go. Excellent. See ya. Yeah, I think I'm going to head off too. Oh, and I quit. Again. Yeah, but... Yes, and, and I have to, um... Uh, CSI is on. Bye! Who's taking Miss Haywood home? I am quite capable... Whoa, the room's spinning. Oh, of course it is. Come on, Miss Haywood. I'll get you back safely, just no funny business, okay? Aw, <laughs> oh, but this suit's dry clean only. You've been listening to Supermarket Matters, an in-ear entertainment podcast. This episode was written by J.D. Kelly, P.J. Montgomery and Mark Chasley. It was voiced by Mark Chasley, Mark Crow Groves, Helen Devitt, Oshan Edwards, J.D. Kelly... Serena Lewis, Steve Meller, Sean Prescott and Verity Smith. <laughs>